Join us as we develop an echo camp for long-term survival in the Florida wilderness. We have several project priorities that will enable us to live free and provide for ourselves in a completely off-grid and wilderness setting. We only have a few weeks before we host an Earth Celebration Gathering, so let's get going. We build solar-powered ecological habitats, or ECOHABs. We have two of them on site, and it's time to fire up their solar generators. They provide critically needed power for refrigeration, cooking, making hot water, lighting our way at night, and running our fans so that we can all keep cool. We build our solar generators in rugged, weatherproof toolboxes, and you can check out our DIY videos on how to do this. We created our first Echo Hab from an old motorcycle trailer. Next, we created Sky Tank, an off-grid overland Echo Camper for long-term wilderness travel. It includes a custom 11-gallon rooftop shower system with an electric water heater. See our separate videos on the build-out of this rugged Echo Hab. With our earth-friendly living spaces up and running, Nora took off on Daisy the John Deere tractor for some important trail and campsite maintenance. Managing the underbrush is critical for reducing ticks and chiggers in the Florida wilderness. Back at camp, I set up a rudimentary outdoor kitchen. We have a lot to accomplish, so we keep our meals simple, yet healthy and nourishing. We're hanging out at Magical Oaks under a tornado watch. So far, the tent is a total swamp. Here comes the rain. Mm -hmm. Sky Tank is the perfect vehicle for us to weather a tornado. It's dry as a bone in here and solid, solidly secure. I'll give you a little tour. We've got our fan to keep us cool, our cooler with our food, all running off of our solar generator. Nice tight windows, no leaking. And coffee. <laughs> The storm is over and the windows leaked in the owl's nest and the tent is completely flooded out. At least we were warm and dry in Sky Tank. We took the leaky window trim off, added a better drip edge, and Nora re everything. Meanwhile, I strung up a large tarp to better protect our belongings in the tent. Our next priority is water. You can't survive without water. The farm came with an old diesel irrigation well pump, and we're swapping it out for an earth-friendly rainwater harvesting system with a solar-powered pump. No more purchasing smelly diesel fuel for us. Now our water is free. We constructed our work shed with rainwater harvesting in mind. Just two solar panels run a solar water pump, electric freezer, lights, and power for our tools. Look for our earlier video on this system. Now we've added gutters and a 1500 gallon water tank to collect rainwater. Water from the gutters passes through a leak catcher and a tank filter for storage. Powered by just two solar panels, our rainwater system delivers pressurized water all the way down to the Beautyberry Garden 300 feet away. We picked a sunny location to mindfully grow our food and medicine. We added a spectacular outdoor shower bathing area, and misters to keep us cool and provide water to the garden. We are all ready for our Earth Celebration Gathering. Camp Owl is located at Magical Oaks, a beautiful 20-acre fern farm nestled under a hardwood hammock located within the Florida Wildlife Corridor. As it was formerly slated for extensive development, we established a conservation easement on the property to restore and preserve its natural beauty through perpetuity. Got a little bit of 
Wilderness survival is so empowering. We get our energy from the sun, our water from the rain, and our food and medicine from the earth. And the cool thing is, all these DIY projects can be applied to residential settings as well, living free and doing our part for the earth. Thank you for watching, and if you like what we're doing, please subscribe to our channel, and we also have our GoFundMe site if you'd like to help. Thank you.